Good morning, Pomeroy. 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 And I'm Jenny Stewart. Welcome to the second episode of Good Morning Pomeroy. Enjoy the show. It seems like it was just yesterday that Julie went on maternity leave to have her baby. Well, she's gonna be back to the center very soon, but in the meantime, here she is with her baby. Julie? Hello, Pomeroy. It's me, Julie. Long time no see. I miss you guys so much. I'm here with my family. For those of you that haven't seen Cody in a while, here he is, six and a half years old now. He's getting huge, just about to graduate first grade and going into second grade in the fall. He's uh, enjoying riding his bike and playing basketball outside. So things have been, been fun around here. And our newest addition to the family is Kaylin. So everybody can meet Kaylin. She is two months old now. She was born on Sunday, March 22nd. Uh, in the evening, she was seven pounds, two ounces, and 18 and a half inches. Now at two months, she's grown quite big. She's a whopping 11 pounds, 11 ounces, and 22 inches. She's a lot of fun. She's a very calm baby, unlike that one. Um, she likes to swing on her swing. She likes to play on her play mat. She likes to take baths, go on car rides. She really likes this Clefairy picture that Cody drew for her on our wall. Shout out to our Pokemon fan, Bobby. Um, she also likes to look at things on the wall. We have waves, uh, the clock, the TV. She's a lot of fun. I can't wait to get back to the center and see you all. I miss you all so much and I hope you're all doing really well. Back to you, Jenny and Bethany. Recently, the Pomeroy Children's Teens Department held a drive-by graduation for this year's graduates. Please watch the show.
did you ever wonder, hey, what Bay Area teams won last night? What were the scores? If so, here is Roosevelt from Team Art with this week's sports report. <laughs> When the Giants win, that that mine. Final score was one to nothing, something like that. And, and the poor Niners won too. Yeah. Hmm. Warriors won. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning, Pomeroy. Here's traffic. My name is George. Today I give you traffic report. This traffic is bad. And now it's time for viewer mail. Chico has a question for Eric with Able Gardeners. Eric, when is your birthday and what is the best gift you've ever gotten? Thanks for the question, Chico. My birthday is August 18th. Uh, see, my favorite gift was an Atari. I got an Atari for my birthday one year. Poncho has a question for LeFay. LeFay, when things get really stressful, how do you relax? Well, Pancho, during these times, when it gets really stressful for me, I like to come to this park right here and walk around with my little dog, Chance. We actually do a lot of exercising and running around the park together, and that helps me de-stress and take the things off my mind that I may be thinking about that are stressful. Mark Gallo has a question for Leda. Leda, you run the ballet program here at the Pomeroy Center. Are there any other kinds of music you like to dance to? And when did you start dancing? Thanks for the question, Mark. I started dancing at the age of three. I started getting my professional ballet training from the San Diego School of Ballet. And I also went to a couple summer intensives with the American Ballet Theater and the Jelana School. After I turned 18, I moved up here to San Francisco where I did uh, freelance dancing I danced professionally for a number of different companies, uh, Levian Dance, The Dance Right Project, Company C, Dance Here in San Francisco, Napolis, just to name a few. And then I got injured, so um, my hips are no longer good. But now I get to teach ballet here at the Pomeroy, which is so much fun. Thanks for the question, Mark. That's another great question. A lot of people think that because I was a professional ballet dancer that I just listen to classical music all the time. That is not true. I listen to anything that's fun and upbeat and I love dancing to it too. I'll give you a little taste of what I mean by that. <laughs> Diane and Barbara have a question for Michelle from Team A. Michelle, we all know you love fast food, but if you had a choice of getting a hot dog at the Chevron station or a Whopper at Burger King, which would you choose? Hey, great question, Diane and Barbara. Well, there's no doubt about it, a Chevron hot dog. Because it's convenient, you get the gas, it's always fresh. Those Whoppers are too messy, too much special sauce, but the hot dogs and the tacos at Chevron gas station can't beat them. Just the right amount of flavor, crunchiness, the hot dogs, easy. I could drive with a hot dog, easy. Hey, um, that's a great question, Barbara and Diane. Keep them coming. Lastly, in viewer mail, Barbara has a question for Brenda. Brenda, last week we saw all your dogs and cats at your house, and you said you had 50 cent the turtle, but we didn't see it. 
Barbara wants to know, Brenda, can we see the turtle? Um, sure, Barbara. Um, yeah, I, 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 you want to see 50? Okay, um, let's see. Um, oh, huh. Well, there's her tank. Let's see. 50, are you under here? Chad teach us how to make a mask out of a sock. This week he's going to teach us how to properly wear a mask for our safety. Thank you Jenny and Bethany. Good morning Pomeroy. It's Chad. So last time I saw you guys we were working on uh, making a mask out of a sock and hopefully that worked for you guys. Um, but the big idea is finding a mask that is comfortable for you, that works for you, because you'll be wearing it. So there's, there's ones that go behind the ear. A little octopus one. I have a denim one. There's so many different patterns. This little witch, little witchy witch. And then there's ones that tie behind your head. Ooh, I think I like this one. Hmm. So there's different, different kinds, but um, the big idea is wearing your mask and wearing it correctly. That is the big thing. So, are you guys ready to see how you should properly wear your mask? Are you ready? It's kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy. So, the proper way to wear a mask. It covers my nose and it covers my mouth. Two big things, covering your nose and your mouth. That is the proper way to wear a mask. The improper way to wear a mask. No, 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 no. Nope, no, no, no. No. I mean, that's kind of cute, right? But no, no, the right way. It's the only way. So when I'm out in the community, I kind of find that, uh, my mask will uh, either go down a little bit or, or sometimes I just want to adjust it. And that's fine. Um, but we need to make sure our hands are clean uh, when we touch our mask. Um, and I see a lot of this. Everything that's on your mask is on your hands now. And then you're touching your face and you're touching your eyes. So that kind of defeats the purpose of wearing a mask too. So we never want to grab our mask with our hand like that, unless, unless we wash our hands. That is a big thing. And I always carry a little hand sanitizer with me. I have this amazing eucalyptus hand sanitizer. 
Mm -mm 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 -mm. Smells delicious, I love it. But one way that I adjust my, my mask when I'm out is I just take one finger, that way I'm touching the good part of the mask, right? From the inside. And I'm kind of adjusting this way. I'm, I'm not holding the mask from outside. So that's kind of um, my, my tricks. So hopefully this helped you out. Remember to wear your mask properly over your nose and your mouth. Make sure your hands are clean, wash your hands. You know, do a little spray with your hand sanitizer. Be all clean and fresh. Ooh. All right, that's all that I have for you guys. Thank you so much, guys. Back to you, Jenny and Bethany. Here we go. Two of our most beloved participants, Linda Toy and Philip Alexander, recently passed away due to non-COVID illnesses. Please join us now in watching this tribute slideshow of their amazing life here at the Pomeroy Center. Thank you. Well, that's about it for Good Morning Pomeroy. I'm Jenny Stewart. And I'm Bethany Gregonis. See you guys next time.